Vehicles of the past were some of the most innovative and unusual cars produced, from a centipede to a wooden race car. Here are 15 of the most memorable we could find. I'm Glenn, and let's take a look back and see what they were. The 1967 Dodge Diora is the creation of the Alexander Brothers from Detroit. It was unveiled at Detroit's Autorama in 1967, where it won nine awards, including the highly prestigious Riddler Award. Built using a compact Dodge A100 pickup, it used a front-opening hatch built using the lift-up rear window from a 1960 Ford station wagon in place of doors. It was chopped, sectioned, and channeled to create the fully functional, futuristic-looking pickup. You might even have owned one, since it was also part of the first Hot Wheels line in 1968. In 1933, the American inventor and architect Buckminster Fuller designed a prototype car called the Dymaxion car. Die for dynamic, max for maximum, and Eon for super duper. It was just short of 20 feet long and could seat 11 people. With three wheels, two at the front and a wheel that steered at the rear, the car was extremely maneuverable despite its length. Taking its cue from aeronautical design, whose influence was shown in the laminated bodywork, the vehicle was extraordinarily innovative. In 1940, no other automobile looks like this, with its front-mounted cockpit and curves leading to a raindrop tail. Tim, an Indy racing engineer, made the car with the Buick straight eight engine placed at the chassis rear. Look to racers like the 1937 Auto Union Type C for indication of Tim's inspiration. Inspired by an airplane, Tasco is an American sports car with a T-top roof and a cabin surrounded by fiberglass. The engine of this car is not anything anyone but an engineer would readily understand. Still, it's got the power, and that's all that really matters. Only one of these cars was ever built, and then the owner went to a party and forgot where he parked it. If anyone out there should see it, please let us know. The Messerschmitt KR200 is what is known as a bubble car, which is just a smaller economy microcar made during the 50s and 60s. Designed by Fritz Fend, the cabin scooter stands on three wheels and is a one-door coupe. There were about 40,000 cabin scooters manufactured between the years 1955 to 1964. Manufactured in the 1930s and early 40s by William Stout, a former executive at Ford Motors, the Stout Scarab is an American automotive engineering product. The Scarab boasted innovative features meant to optimize airflow and reduce wind noise. These included fenders incorporated into the body, rear wheel skirts, deleted running boards, flush glass, and hidden hinges. In addition to being considered innovative, the Stout Scarab was also one of the first vehicles to have independent coil spring suspension on all of its four corners. In 
The 1953 General Motors Firebird 1 XP21 was an actual jet fighter with four wheels, a tail fin, and a bubble cockpit. The turbine engine spun up to 26,000 RPM and generated a whopping 370 horsepower. General Motors never intended the car for production, but rather to showcase the extremes in technology and design that the company could achieve. The vehicle is on display at the Henry Ford Museum in Dearborn, Michigan. The Citroen Centipede is a 10-wheeled tire-testing monster. In 1972, Michelin needed a way of testing its trucks at high speeds, but was worried about the danger involved with big-rigged blowouts. The answer was this massively modified Citroen. Looking like something a tire company would design and Herman Munster would drive, the vehicle houses two powerful V8 engines and runs on 10 wheels. Bizarre, but necessary to balance the whopping 10 metric ton body that Michelin designed. If you're wondering about its top speed, it's 100 miles per hour. Produced in 1970, the Ferrari 512S Modulo was a rather prominent car on the racing scene. No matter how weird a vehicle is designed, it sure stirs some excitement if it comes from the Italian car maker Ferrari. The car is set very low and runs at a top speed of 220 miles per hour. Since it has no doors, it uses a canopy-style roof for entering and leaving the vehicle. Cadillac's concept car, produced in 1950, was heavily influenced by the 50s aeronautical and aerospace design, built to test new styles and technologies. The radar-based proximity devices located in the front nose cones were designed to warn the driver of objects in the vehicle's path and is probably the most forward-thinking feature. However, what was truly revolutionary in this car's design were the electronically activated sliding doors and the movable silver-coated anti-UV bubble roof. Also a wheeled microcar is the Peel P50 which was manufactured during the years 1962 to 1965. According to the Guinness Book of World Records, the P-50 is the smallest production car ever made. You could really tell that just by a glance. It measures 54 inches long and 39 inches wide. Produced by the Peel Engineering Company based in the Isle of Man, there's no reverse gear provided. However, you can just pick up the rear end and move it yourself if needed. If any single image could highlight how much racing has changed and how much it has stayed the same in nearly 100 years of motorsport, this might be the one. The Miller Golden Submarine of 1917 is arguably the first streamlined circuit racing car. Built much safer than most cars on racetracks, it was also incredibly fast. Like any other super sports car, the R, as it's popularly known, was designed not only for racing, but also for real-world driving. It's a two-seater 
one in front of the other. Powered by a Mercedes V12 with 720 horsepower and a top speed of 200 miles per hour, only 12 of its kind are produced each year at a staggering $500,000 starting price. Created by the Italian coach builder Pannone Farina, the X was inspired by the space race. By far, the X is one of the most sought after cars, as its concept was 50 years ahead of its time. Recently at the Barrett Jackson Auto Auction, a 1960 Pannone Farina X sold for over $300,000. The world's only wooden supercar is aptly named Splinter. It was created by Joe Harmon and built using only the best composite construction supplies. Inspired by the de Havilland Mosquito, a World War II airplane, it definitely makes a statement. <laughs> 